what's the best story or what's the farthest you've like reached to like be heard or like get in front oh, of somebody? Dude. Like what's I like gotta, the most like, you know, I went to that extent so I could be heard. It's sort of, it's just sort of an epic story, but uh, I'll try to keep it short. But there's a, there's a songwriters festival in, in Key West that they have every year. And the whole town of Nashville basically goes down to Key West and it's this big festival. And I have kids, I have two, two daughters and I was a stay at home dad at this point in time. So I was like trying to like raise my girls and then I would ride at night and everything. And a big part of any business obviously is networking and getting out there. And I just couldn't do it. I couldn't like get myself in front of the right people. I was frustrated. I was broke as shit, you know, and, and I knew that if I could get down to Key West for this festival, that I could spend four days down there, like getting in everybody's face, right? So I said, if I can find a plane ticket, I'm going down there. So I had a buddy who has a brother who is a pilot for American Airlines, and he gave me a ticket. So I had a free ticket down there. So I went down there. I packed a small bag because I had no place to stay. I was like, I don't care. I'll sleep on the beach. I'm going down there. So no place to stay. I go, I land and I'm walking, literally walking down the street, pulling my bag. And this buddy of mine is like, Hey, I didn't know you were coming. Where are you staying? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> and he was like, I got an extra bed. You can crash in my room. So I was like, great. So I had a free room, free flight, free room. I bought a box of granola bars to eat. Standard. All yeah. People like were buying my beers and stuff. I didn't pay for a single beer or whatever. And you'd, ha you'd have to wait like till about three in the morning at this open mic thing to get your chance to go on stage and play a couple of songs. So I was down there and uh, the house band at the time was Brothers Osborne. They weren't Brothers Osborne at that point, but they were a band called King Billy at that point. <laughs> King and, Billy. Uh, yeah and so i like that that's a cool name so i waited till about three in the morning and uh got up on stage and told them you know the chords of the song and we played the song and that performance basically got me a publishing deal off of playing that one song and I, so no that way whole week, yeah yeah so then on top of that nashville was flooding it was like 10 years ago or whatever. so there was a big flood in nashville and all the flights back to Nashville were canceled. So I go meet some people for breakfast. My buddy was like, hey, come meet me for breakfast. <laughs> so we're sitting at the table and I'm telling everybody this whole story about how I've come to Key West and spent four days and no plan and no money and nothing, you know, had this big epic night. And uh, there's this dude sitting at the end of the table that, that I didn't know. and at the end of the story, he was like, well, hey, man, I've got a private jet and um, there's an empty seat and we're heading back to Nashville in the morning if you want to. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so let's go. Private jet. Yeah. <laughs> bro, you're, it you're was broke insane. ass. You're yeah. broke ass. It's like, I just got to get down to Key West. Snakes uh, a flight. Yeah. Snakes free beers. And yeah. then you play an open mic. Who came up to you? What was the dude? It was like some guy or girl was just like, hey, I liked what you did there. Like, here's my card type of deal yeah. uh it was no it didn't like happen quite like that it was just because like i started getting all these phone calls like what did you do last night because everybody's talking about your song and everybody's talking about what you did so it was like it just started this buzz and you know i started getting phone calls and finally got the deal so and then and then and then and then you're, and then, right. then you're writing it. songs you're writing songs out there for other girls to break up with their boyfriends and you're, <laughs> you're wrecking homes and now you're a home wrecker dude congratulations yeah. <laughs> bonafide home wrecker dude i love that that's epic